Hello, I'm Dr. Megan Burt, and I'm going to show you how to use Beauty Counter's Better Beauty Blender. It's actually just called the Beauty Blender, but I always call it our Better Beauty Blender because our hashtag is Better Beauty. So I'm going to apply my foundation and my concealer using this and show you how to use this. I love this product. I I honestly wasn't sure how I was going to like it or use it. In the past, I've always applied my foundation with a brush like this. This is Real Techniques or the Beauty Counter Retractable Brush, which both work wonderfully. But there's something really special about the application using the Beauty Blender and especially how it can just really make a seamless look and to get um, the concealer um, applied really well too. So I'm using Skin Twin. I use a medium 310. Oh, before I should tell you, when you get your beauty blender, it's not gonna be quite this big. I ran this under warm water and it expands and so you want to use it damp. So then you squeeze out all of the moisture. So I'm gonna put one pump of my medium 310 Skin Twin and I'm just gonna start by dotting forehead and cheeks and then it takes not a long time to apply, but you're just gonna go and pat it in It'll take a little while to get all the way around and to get a nice coverage. With Skin Twin, you can layer this. So this is a medium coverage foundation. If you want it to be a little bit more full coverage, then you apply it like this, wait till it dries, and do another layer on top. Okay, the reason you wanna tap is you're gonna use the least, or you're gonna get the least amount of product here and you're gonna use the most on your skin so it will help your product last a little longer, plus you're not gonna get any of the streaks. So with a brush or with your fingers, you can't tap quite the same way. I think that's really what makes these blenders so amazing. Okay, almost done. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my mirror because I cannot see in this camera to see if I got everything. I think we're good, okay. Double check. Moving on to concealer. So this is our Skin Twin Concealer. You can do as light as you want or as much product as you want. I'll make that even here. I always use this as an um, eyelid primer too because I have a lot of vessels. And so if I don't wear any eyeshadow, I do this if I wear eyeshadow too. If I don't have any eyeshadow, it just doesn't look as complete of a look. So. Same thing, you're gonna tap and then I close my eyes and because this has a nice tip on it, I can go right in the corner on that teardrop area and really get a nice even blend. When you're choosing concealer colors, you're gonna to wanna to do the same or lighter concealer if you're gonna go under your eyes. For under our eyes, we want the light to lighten that area that tends to be darker and have dark circles. Uh, versus bring more darkness to it. If you are using um, the concealer for any areas of redness or something on your face, you're gonna wanna use about the same color as your concealer. Some people will choose two different concealer colors just depending on what they want, one here, one for a round, or if you're wanting one, I would choose the one that's the closest to your foundation color that works for your face, but that also would work for under your eyes. So there you go. There is how you apply using the Better Beauty Blender. Like I said, it applies so smoothly, so wonderfully. Then I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on, make it pretty simple today. And then to give you an extra tip to really lock in, where did it go? To lock in your makeup to make it last longer, the mattifying powder. It There's no color that comes with this, it just, um, First of all, adds a matte finish if you have more oily skin or there's just too much glow, but it also helps to lock in your makeup. And I apply this at the top when I'm done with everything else, all blush, all highlighters, everything. There you go. Hope you enjoyed and that you love a beauty blender too.